got ourselves Kovaska over for the team to array to go as the first one up. Mokfleur over for the team as well as Morty. We got Ragnarok as well as Shifties with Kovask having to go up for Skatarina first. Oh, no, no, no. I mean, I like watching Katarina. I like watching my homie Kovas. Kovaska. I might have a hard time with your name because it's like has a very like a Russian esque sound to it. And I, I like usually try to give you guys like a nickname. Kovasika, like Kova, Vasi, Sika. I don't even know what to go with it. You know, I'm just gonna say the entire thing. But every time I start saying it, I'm like, it's almost like I'm default to another language at that point. You know what I mean? It's gonna be a full on Zoan and everything as Kovasika goes in for Alexia. Katarina back it up out of there immediately. That is an ultra time as well. And Kovasika, full cooldowns are in. But I guess the altar, I don't really know. Immediate karma, breath by Katarina. What is that breath? What is that karma? All those got used so early. What just absolutely went? Maybe Katarina was just like, okay, I'm gonna blink back. I'm definitely gonna. <laughs> Mage is so big, brain is like in multiple different timelines, trying to figure out which timeline am I in with this altar. Is it gonna be on my left or is it gonna be on my right? <laughs> I kind of love it, actually. Yeah, I don't think he was doing it on purpose. I don't think he was trying to just throw a breath immediately. He just trying to figure out where was his altar. <laughs> and maybe reposition a little bit weird. Yes, Kavaska finally getting another in-cap. That's going to be a breath with Katarina landing that polymorph. That's going to be Kavas. That's a defensive. So as long as you're out in the open, if you got a defensive, you might be able to mitigate it. Got himself a pretty big one for the touch of the magic. Katarina with the altar. Big blasters of the Kavasika. Either way, though, touch of the magic ripping right there. You're not going to give you any justice whatsoever. Barrage is around the corner. Not going to feel great. I think it's just over, right? Missiles? I was going to say, maybe a barrage to cap it off, but no, just missiles, man. The damage that an RK mage could pull off. It's just absolutely nutty. Especially if you get that full combo and everything. Morty trying to see if he can stop Katarina in his tracks. Freezing him down as best possible. Breath before he even lets off the full on Ring of Frost or Frozen Bomb. This is going to be an interrupt over Morty. He's gotten some plenty of damage, but Katarina no longer has to worry about interrupts. It's going to be kicking out of Morty, but Juke completely. Katarina still taking huge hits either way, though. Does get himself that much needed ultra. Needs a way to stop the Ring of Frost. That might be an icebox situation here. Potentially got him some ultra could be okay. Morty's actually kind of sort of okay. He's got him some shooting power, got him some plenty of shields and everything. Katarina's maybe a little bit behind health wise, does not have a trinket anymore like a normal one. Breath that's gonna be a knockout for just a second. Is Morty trying to get CC? There goes his trinket, trying to go for a kick. Juke out by Katarina into a polymorph right after. It does at least stop a little bit of flurry damage. The frost damage though just cannot really be beat. That's gonna be a ring of frost. Morty might be looking at ice block unless he's just down. Oh, he has, has to go full of block. He had to. Well done, well done. As long as he doesn't get a trap on Frost, is okay. Although it looks like Katarina's mostly getting kicks on Morty. On the Arcane, on the Polys, if anything. Not really getting as many interrupts. On the Frost, though, does get the kick on Frost. Barrage is to follow. He's got him some shields. Morty trying to give himself a bit of defense, though. He's either got defenses or mobility or utility with the uh, Arcane or damage with Frost. And whichever you interrupt, like, <laughs> you gotta deal with the other one. Does go for the knock. Breath does connect. Poly right after onto Katarina as Morty with a big old glacial spike looking for a ring of Frost. Katarina does go for a full on the Viz. Is that what it was? Yeah, full on Viz. Into another iceberg for Morty. Katarina still holding on to the Roblox. They're doing just fine. For a time being. I don't like Mages, man. There's a bounce. Yeah, they're all over the place. You can pin down an RK Mage in particular, but Mages in general are very, very mobile. It is wild. Full touch. The magic. Morty just getting cleaved down, trying to see if he can recover whatever cooldowns he can for defense. At that point, Katarina is just sending everything. Not even a point of interrupting. Shifties, though, so far has done a fantastic job countering the RK Mage. I think he's the only guy that's done a, as good of a job as really anybody. Full ring of fire, kind of weird angle. I don't even know if Shifty's is gonna take any dot there, but she walks into it at a right corner there. But it's gonna be all the time for Katarina. He needs to get himself a full combo onto Shifty's. He wants to be able to blast out the Boomkin. Does go for the kick. That's gonna be interrupted on nature. Shifty's got us a plenty of RK damage, also star surges, as well as astral damage still flows even if he gets interrupted on lunar and solar. As long as he doesn't get interrupted on Actually, can you get interrupted on astral damage? I think only if you got like the solar flare, the astral dot, right? If you're mid cast and you get interrupted, that's the only way you can get locked out on both. Because you should be locked out on both arcane and nature too. Not be able to cast astral, right? 
It, does it, fun it functions like Chaos Bolt, pretty sure, yeah? I'm pretty... Or like a Shadow Flame? I'm pretty sure. Wait, w that was maybe a bit too early of a War Stomp, unless you just... You did War Stomp. Okay, I was thinking for a second, like I saw you uh, <laughs> Chaos Bolt for a second. Big, touching the badger, ripping right there. She just got himself a Cyclone. Hold on, Katarina! Wait, he's still blasting. He's still blasting. Does get interrupted for a second. Actually, does lock him out on Arcane, but not in the fire. Trying to go for a Ring of Frost. Does it connect? No. Looks like he stopped that completely. Got him some barrages. Trying to give Shifty super low in health. With an Arcane Orb around the corner. Barrages some more. He's got himself a blink. Does he have anything to follow up? Does have the interrupt onto the Cyclone. Hold on. Is this enough though? Shifty's got himself Heart of the Wild. That should be extra defense. Extra healing. The mage leaping in. He's trying to go for barrages. Knock up on a Shifty so he can't run out of these easily. Gonna be yet another interrupt. Oh my god. The kicks. Oh my goodness. That was a lot. The Druid was literally up against the wall at the end there. Katarina so far has been fighting tooth and nail with a druid. And so far the druid has had major advantage over Katarina every single time. But not this time. That last one, he does get it back. McFlurry's up next versus Katarina. He's just backing up out of there. He doesn't want to fight this. He just wants to go back here. Let me sit down, get himself some food. He's going into the cubby. Oh my goodness, dude. The cubby play. Look at him. Oh man, Flurry's forced to just warn in. Technically, Flurry could just drop down Blizzards, right? Or does he want to give him Honor Duel? Looks like he wants to give him Honor Duel. Looks like he's perfectly fine with giving him the Honorable Duel. And honestly, Katarina, you better you better show some respect next time you see Flurry. If you see him and he's just struggling low in health, you better remember who gave you the Honorable Duel. Also, I gotta get that toy. Is that a toy that you can get from anywhere? Or is that like the card game toy? If it is a card game toy, then... Yeah, I <laughs> just can't get it. Brad Blink immediately by McFlurry. You know what? He gave me the opportunity to recover some health. Only makes sense for him to be able to get the opener. Katarina can't even walk out of the room. It's just Ring of Frost, unless you can blink out of it. You are gonna... You're not getting frozen? Juked out? Juked out the kick, so it gave him the precog to walk out of the room. Full shatter up onto Katarina with a Ring of Frost. Big explosive. Still taking a lot of damage, even though they got an ultra still just rotting down to every single one of those flurries and lances. Trinket! I don't even know what you're trinketing just now. Well, I got himself a cascade of missiles. Might be an ice block here. No, it doesn't even have block. It's over. Wait. Oh my goodness. Flurry every single time. It feels like Flurry walks up. Or almost every single time to, <laughs> to Katarina. Almost, almost every single time. Flurry just able to shatter his hopes and dreams into a billion pieces. Lord is going to be up next, trying to see if he can Wraith walk around. AMS is up, stunned to follow. Flurry does not play into normal blinks. He's playing Shimmers. So for Lore, this is actually quite a lot of healing. Although Alter? Or is that not Alter? Not Alter! Flurry might be looking at an Ice Buck here. And that Snowball, when you Poly, does not go back to you? Okay, so you can literally disrupt his whole Chill Streak tier set with a Poly by the looks of it. Crazy two HP bars, honestly, man, it's huge. Are we gonna be normal? Nah, myself with doing more, doing more, doing more. Nah, Mosna, Mosna Master, Master Food, Master Food. I <laughs> try to just mix it up between like Russian and English, but yeah, Master Food, you're more than welcome to join my guy. <laughs> I'm gonna be listening to the audio later, man. Oh, huge ray! Oh my god, hold on a second. Lynchborn, Lances. Uh, Ring of Frost! Oh, you gripped you in. Didn't complete, didn't complete, didn't complete, but it's gonna be quick breath. Polly right after. Oh, it's a full freeze. Oh, it's over. Oh, it's done. Maybe. Uh, oh, he just dancing. Oh, never mind. It's not over. I was gonna say maybe. I was gonna say Deathborn. Deathbark. Or, or Death Pack? Death Pack. Trinket out of Flurry really early. Does not alter. Oh, wait. Yeah, it doesn't alter. Wait, Lore maybe turns around? Ice block? Oh, you can't chop away through the big old block of ice. Maybe Death Strike? He just needs a lance on you. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Bro, that's gonna be Zuan up next. Zuan's karma trying to see if he could somehow fight a w through McFlurry. Immediate karma for this man. I mean, he's living up to his name. Shift and power out for McFlurry. Yet more polys are after. And the man needs him some defenses or CC or something. Big polys on the mobility of Zuan, which is huge. Trying to see if he can stay aggressive. Big shimmers too. With the Ring of Frost, he can't really stop it right now. Zuan is still going to take quite a bit of damage though. Massive hit with the Ring of Frost. It's still going to be the order. Hold on a second. Wait, are you just dead? Oh, that ink cap. Wait. It's over. Flurry. That is just mean. 
Oh my god, he ain't, he ain't out here making friends, is he? Saying, giving this man as much of an honor duel as possible. You're gonna give this guy, this man is an honor duel? You're a man and a scholar. You're a better man than most of us would be. Most people would just see you flurry, blasting these boys and be like, you know what, I'm in there. He got no blocks, he got nothing. I'm charging in, I'm taking this guy out. <laughs> Roger Dodge, take him out. <laughs> Sang is giving him that full honor duel though. Love to see it, man. Fantastic looking mount, by the way. That thing looks gorgeous. That's the uh, Gilnan, right? That is a Gilnan mount. Looks so good. All right, well, he's ready for you. He's ready for shit power and everything, sake. You're more than welcome to, man. The ball is in your court. 11, 12 minutes into the duel, 64% dampening. You can barely heal right now. And he's going to hit you with a poly. He's going to get you with a go. You got to run in. You got to rush him. He's easier. He, 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 McFlurry hopefully remembers that this man just gave him honor duel. Wait, Saint? He's playing, he's playing, he's playing, he's in play, he's in play. I was gonna say, is he in play? Is he ready? Shield of Vengeance, you may need immunity right now. Got himself Crusade. You need to ramp it up. You need to ramp up Crusade. Bubble up immediately. McFlurry, back it up out of there. He doesn't have a block. That's the one advantage that uh, Sanct has is no block for McFlurry. Alter trying to maximize the healing, but it's really, really clutch. Drink it out of this one. Brett to follow. Polly right after. He doesn't have a normal trinket. He has a human racial. I think it's over. That's a full bomb. McFlurry. Oh my god. Just barrages of common storms back to back to back. Flurry. Griff is the last one left. Is he gonna give you honor duel? Is this what's is this happening? Are you giving him the full? Proper honor duel, because if Grave just sits in stealth, that'll count as honor duel. That'll count. Yeah, he's he's letting it happen. Grave's still up. Yep, this still up. Grave is still up. He's out of chance. He can bring it back for his team. Thirteen minutes into the duel, seventy percent dampening. You aren't healing anything. And Flurry got about a minute on the ice block. I don't think you're gonna be able to get one, Griff. He goes in with a quick gouge, sepsis, everything. Kid the shot. Flurry got nothing for this one. It's gonna have to take all the damage in the world. Oh, yeah, there's just no shot. Yeah, not playing a blink around the rogue. You just can have a full go if you don't have a trinket. With Ragnarok, last one left. I don't know how you're gonna do this. I don't know how you would do this. Into land a stun on the rogue. He got a blind trinkets it. Stun onto the rogue. Trying to see if he can maximize damage. I think you gotta go full bleeds. He's gonna have a cloak for this one. Just storm for just a second. You got the big bleed. If you're onto the rogue, he's still bleeding. He's still bleeding. That's actually a way to not get a cloak out of the rogue is by fearing him after the bleed. Griffith's taking a lot of the bleed damage. He's still got cloak. He's got a lot of defense. Charge? How did that charge connect? I think Ragnarok, the only way he wins this is maybe if he could pre blaze storm a kidney shot. No. Parry? Maybe? He tried to go for damage? Hold on. Parry? No. No, there's just nothing he could do. He still had a vanish and everything. Flurry with four though. <laughs> Flurry with four. Yeah, at the end there with the rogue, it's it's rough. I that the only thing you can do is if you could pre blaze or McKinna shot and then turn it around to the guy. But that blade fear was a good combo. That by itself was actually pretty solid. Damn. <laughs> Are we doing more? Yeah, let's get you guys a plus one.